Dolphins on the Sand by Jim Arnosky. They came in over the reef from deep water, a dozen dolphins swimming fast. Dolphins racing and leaping, chasing a school of fish. Leading the chase was the oldest dolphin with her swift and agile youngster. The dolphins swam against an outgoing tide as they pushed the fish closer and closer to the shore. Suddenly, the lead dolphin began slowing down. Tired from the chase, she turned away from the fleeing fish and swam to the shallow water near a long sandbar. There, she beached herself and rested. The young dolphin and all the other dolphins followed, skidding and sliding to a stop on the sand. The tide kept rushing out. The water near the sandbar quickly became dangerously low. The mother dolphin felt a strong urge to lead her baby back to deeper water. She squirmed around and faced the sea, but there was not enough water to swim. All the dolphin wriggled around in the sand and struggled to swim. But with deeper water now so far away, they could not escape. They were stranded on the sandbar. By the time the tide began creeping back in, the dolphins had been lying on the sand for hours. All were exhausted and dehydrated from being out of the water. Feeling sick and dizzy, the young dolphin lay against his mother. He nudged her with his head until she made some low sounds. The sun was sinking below the horizon. A kayaker gliding by spotted the beached dolphins and paddled to shore to get help. After dark, the first rescue boat came, shining a spotlight on the stranded dolphins. A little while later, more rescuers came in boats and on foot, carrying flashlights and lanterns. At first, the young dolphin was frightened by the bright light and shadowy shapes. Then, one rescuer knelt beside him and gently wiped the sand away from his mouth and eyes. The little dolphin felt cool water being splashed on his back and sides. The rescuers comforted all the dolphins into the night. When the tide began flowing back in over the sandbar, the young dolphin felt strong enough to try and swim, but the water was still too shallow. As the tide water washed around him, he called to his mother in clicking and squeaking sounds until he heard her weakly calling back. Out in deeper water, the dark fins of hungry sharks sliced through blue-black waves. The sharks cruised back and forth, waiting to ambush the weakened dolphins once they tried to swim. The tide kept pushing in, and the sharks swam closer. Some of the rescuers shined their lights on the prowling sharks, while others moved the dolphins to a safe lagoon near shore. In the safety of a shoreline lagoon brightly lit by the rescuers' lights, the dolphins swam for the first time since their stranding. The old mother, though, was still too weak to swim. She closed her eyes and rolled on her side in the water. The young dolphin squeaked softly to her until she recovered enough to swim slowly but steadily in the lagoon. The tide came and went in the night and came back again at first light. Morning dawned, brightening the water with hazy colors of a new day. The dolphins swam around and around in the lagoon, getting stronger with every turn. Then, one by one, the dolphins were allowed to leave the lagoon and swim back out to sea, but only after each was corralled and observed to see if it was strong enough. When the rescuers tried to corral him and his mother, the young dolphin escaped by swimming under a tangle of mangrove trees, and there he stayed while his mother was being caught and held in the water. When his mother was finally let go, the little dolphin dashed out to join her. Together again, they swam in happy circles, chattering to each other in high-pitched clicks. With the tide high and deep, they swam past the rescue boats, out of the shoreline lagoon, over the submerged sandbar, and back to the freedom of the sea.